When I was six, my mother noticed my left cheek was slightly swollen. Then came the doctor visits. Dentists, pediatricians, oral surgeons, for multiple biopsies, everyone was stumped. We traveled from Buffalo to New York City for 10 surgical procedures in two years to finally diagnose and treat a rare non-involuting congenital hemangioma inside my left mandible. The final surgery was a mandibular reconstruction with free flap using a donor bone from my leg. The bone is fixed and is stronger than ever, and now, five years later, so am I. After discovering an inconclusive nodule in my neck, never did I think that one surgery would change my entire life. I woke up from surgery and learned that I had thyroid cancer that had spread to my lymph nodes. When I found out that my father was diagnosed with the same disease this past year, it was like deja vu. His positivity and optimism made way for a speedy recovery, and I got to shower him with the same love and support that he always exemplified to me. Oddly enough, this disease has brought us even closer. We are fighters for each other and will always be by each other's side. After 29 treatments of radiation and a partial laryngectomy, I was told I needed a total laryngectomy. I thought losing my voice and living with it all on my neck was the worst thing that could happen to me. Little did I know, the surgery would change my outlook on life in a more positive way. I have a new motto. Cancer may have changed my voice for the worst, but it has changed me for the better. I lost my right eye, surrounding bone, muscle, and the contents of the orbit to a rare cancer called adenoid cystic carcinoma of the lacrimal gland. I struggle every day with my appearance, but the new me has grown as a human being because I am a survivor. I have learned to adapt to change with greater resilience. I appreciate the little things like never before and do my best to live in the present moment, thankful for all my blessings. In 1992, I was treated for head and neck cancer. Months later, I knew it had recurred, but my doctor told me that I was wrong. After several months of trying to get my doctor to take my complaint seriously, a friend who was a pathologist confirmed my cancer had returned. My doctor gave me nine months to live. I was not ready to give up and found a new team of doctors who gave me hope and removed my tumor. Thanks to their vision and skill, I've enjoyed 24 additional years with my wonderful wife and family. I am the scary thyroid cancer story. I was diagnosed in 1977 at age 15 with thyroid cancer and had the customary treatment over the years. In 1997, I had another neck dissection for recurrence. In 2010, I found a lump in my lower neck. I was terrified. How could this happen? This time, the cancer mutated into an aggressive form. I had more extensive surgery and 33 external beam radiation treatments. In 2012, I had another recurrence behind the bone of my upper chest. In 2013, I was diagnosed with breast cancer which resulted in a mastectomy. One month later, thyroid cancer recurred in the remaining portion of my sternum. I had surgery to remove my sternum, a prosthetic was inserted, and muscle flap reconstruction was done. I had 30 additional external beam radiation treatments. Now, I have lung and liver metastases. There is no cure for metastatic cancer. It is a life sentence. My current treatment is a targeted chemotherapy agent, which slows progression, but will not cure me. I am a cancer lifer.